Hi everybody, Lynette here. Welcome back to my channel. So it's been a long time since I filmed a video and shared a video here on my channel. Things have been really busy between work and just the fact that it's been a pretty active hurricane season here in Florida. I know some of you also live here in Florida, so I'm sure you understand that. Things have been a little crazy and that keeps us busy. Since I do live on an island and when hurricanes come through, we get storm surge and flooding and then there's things to do and time without power. Anyway, it's been a little bit of a crazy fall. But I have finished up some journals and I'm super excited to share them with you guys. I'm super excited to be filming a video and back here on YouTube. So I thought I would start by sharing the journals that I've created recently over the last few months. They have taken me a while to complete just because of everything going on. So before I flip through this journal and i do have another video i'll probably be posting at the same time where i'm flipping through a different journal i have two completed journals and i love them they're so fun but i do want to share some of the blank empty journals that i'm going to have listed on my website so i'm just going to hop into it the link to my website will be in the description box down below so if you want to see any of these that's where you will find them, not in my Etsy shop. I've actually put that just on vacation mode because of the whole hurricane thing. It's just been really hard for me to uh, stay online. <laughs> I had a good week and a half where I wasn't even really on the internet. So anyway, it's just been crazy. It's easier to keep track of one thing, so it's going to be the website. These are just blank, empty journals, and I had this vintage piece of fabric that is just lovely. I love this. I love the colors. Yeah, so I have five of these. They'll be listed individually, so you guys can check them out if you're interested. And they are the same as the journal I've completed, only they're blank. So these measure, let me give you an idea of what they measure here. I'm just jumping into this video and I feel like I haven't I don't know. I'm just out of practice. So they are nine inches tall and they are six inches wide. The covers are made of this vintage fabric. They're frayed on the edges, sewn with the sh sewing machine. So this is made out of an envelope, like an office size envelope. And what I've done is I've lined the envelope with a piece of scrapbook paper. I kept this as a tuck spot and then on the top of the envelope I've trimmed it into two separate flaps here on the front and back cover and you can see the envelope backing there but then the pockets are open on the back and the front so that's really fun I kind of flipped the fabric over the envelope and trimmed it to fit and then I've stitched around the pocket flaps. So it has this really like great texture. I love it, they're fun. I'm going to do more of this in the future. Um, and then there's another little tuck spot there in the back. And then on the top, you can't really even tell that's an envelope, so that's fun. They're all going to come with a piece of tie fabric like this that I've used on my journal. So right now I just have them pressed and those are the tie backs. Okay, so getting into the journal, there are 19 different sheets of paper here. I think that equals about 76 sides or pages in each journal. So flipping through it, I'm just gonna get into it. I feel a little out of sorts and I'm sorry. I apologize you guys if I'm all over the place. So when I was creating these journals, I really wanted them to have a vintage nature feel. So that's what I was going for. So in each journal, the pages are laid out the same. So I have a vintage music cover page here in the front. I have this really pretty lined notebook paper that has like a, I was going for the whole nature wildflower 
vibe. So that's like a yellow orange notebook paper. There's some tea stain paper here. This really fun vintage grid draft type paper. Um, this book, a floral ABC. I have a book page there. I love the florals. I was also really going for the greens and the yellows also. Uh, vintage ledger page there. This is a book out of a vintage floral handbook, flower guide type handbook. A pretty principle I got offline. Um, I can't remember who this is. I'll link them down below though because I do love these wallpaper packs. And then I have an avocado dyed piece here. This is a principle though, here on this side. Another tea stain paper. Here I have some vintage music that I just printed over. So it has this really pretty bird image printed there. A yellow piece of graph paper page here. This is an old book, a handbook for um, birds that I picked up. It was like from the 50s. I love that book. It's really cute. Cute images there. This is a fun, just vintage paper that my mom had shared with me. I'm sure she picked it up thrifting. It's like a program sheet of some kind. So that's fun. Cobol, I don't know. Cobol, Cobol. Uh, Edith Holden book page. And this one's just folded over. Another tea stained page there. This is a Gwen Frostick book. She is a author from Michigan. She did a lot of this, like, I forget what this is called, block printing type art. So that's like a beehive. Has some little fall leaves there. And then what I love about her book pages is like the only one on this page is a snail. So this is a great journaling page and it just has some cute little imagery. Here's a coffee dyed lace page. Another little wildlife floral page, and then a vintage notebook page there in the center. And then I left the strings a little long in case somebody wanted to add dangles to them. And then just flipping backwards through this one. I love those. Little rabbit trail or something. Part of her poetry page there. And the Gwen Frostick page and then just flipping backwards. So I have five of these blank journals and then you can see this page here with that old graph paper. The other side of that printed music paper. So of course the pages, they're all laid out the same in each of these, but they are um, different pages from the books, obviously. And then the other side of that music cover sheet. And then the back of the journal. So I have five of these. They're all going to come with, just so you know. These are my little thank you bags that will come with the journal itself that I'm about to flip through. It'll come with an order of these blank journals, but then I also put a little ephemera pack together for these blank journals. The journal that I created is stuffed full of ephemera and I'll share that with you, but I just put it together a little packet of things that match the journal, the colors, and the feel that I was going for with those. So that is that, and I'll just show you real quick. I don't know what it is about getting on camera, but I always get something in my throat when I'm getting on camera and it seems like it never happens any other time. <laughs> so the other four journals are not that envelope. They are just a regular fabric cover lined with scrapbook paper. So I have this one here, again, a music cover page, the Edith Holden, the music, the book pages. It's all laid out the same, but these have, um, yeah, I'll probably, when I post them, I will name them one, two, three, four, five, but I'll show the inside just so you can see the inside paper and the music there on the front. That's really the only thing that is different about them. 
And the last one. Oops, here we go. So, yes, I love these. And let's see, let's get into the journal. I'm so excited to share this with you guys. I had so much fun making this. So like I mentioned, it's just tied with a cotton fabric. And then the journal, again, it measures, what did I say, nine inches tall, I think. It is nine inches tall by six inches wide. It is a one signature journal, but this little guy is stuffed full of ephemera. It's about two inches on the one side because it's so full. I had a lot of fun creating these. So um, yeah, let's just get into it because it's kind of a big, thick journal. Here on the inside cover, I made a pocket out of a vintage envelope that I had in my stash. This is from 1946 just has these you know great old stamps on there I love the print like I said I was really going for a wilderness meadow flowers in the meadow type feel so here in the front cover I've just shared a lot of ephemera that I've made and a lot of vintage old ephemera so here I have a old um, library book plate with these pretty butterflies I have this fun tag. This is an award that was like from a flower club. This one is from 1957. And I just love that. Has some fun advertising here on the back. And then this is just a tag that I made. I added some crackle paste here to the front and then it's just a journaling tag that you can write on. Here on the first page, I've used an Edith Holden book page and just created a little tuck spot here. Used some of this vintage tape stuff here. I don't even know what that's called. Can you guys tell me? I have a whole roll of it and I love it, but I don't know what that's called. So I would love to know. I just added a piece of trim there and then I just added a library card here with this fun washi sticker on it. You can add these wherever you want. I just included it so you had some things to use in your journal. All right, so getting in to the book. Here I've just created this page with some vintage music roll um, with some of the text here that you know you read these up this way. So this is picture the happiest couple waiting that hour of joy. And then I just added some laces. Here I have some embossed and inked paper. And I just made this little pocket down here of a mom and her daughter from an old French book. Made a little pocket there. And then here I just created this little coin envelope. I added a die cut with some stamping and stickers. And then just another little stamped piece of ephemera. And I think I tucked away, yeah, some tea stained little wildflower pieces you can use in your book. I had so much fun making these. They were so therapeutic. Here on this page, this is that music page that I printed on. Added a little washi to the top, added a tuck spot out of some lace, and then I just shared some tea stained little ephemera there. This is an authentic vintage postcard photo. Love these. And then I just have it clipped in here with one of those little Tim Holtz clips. Back of the music paper so you can add some photos or decorate it however you choose. There's a little wildflower page. And then again, lots of places for journaling even though I've stuffed it full of some of my own creative work process stuff too. So this is a book page out of that Gwen Frostick book and I love this. It says, if a little toad winks as you pass by or you wish he would, then this little book is dedicated to you. And that's really the whole feeling that I wanted this journal 
to possess. Just fun, whimsical, something you would walk into a meadow and maybe find, you know, the colors, the flowers. Just added a little bit of that tape there. And then this is just a little scratch pad. So you could write on the other side of this book page with the grasshopper. And then it's just a little scratch pad with some scraps in here. And then this is the back side. Here on this page, this was that same principle with the wallpaper trim there. And I just made a little tuck spot here. As all of you know, my name is Lynette and I love pointing out that my name actually came from the Linnet bird. <laughs> it's a French word. Lynette came from Linnet. And uh, so anyway, I just added that little bird on the list to that tuck spot. And then I just tucked away a little piece of vintage dictionary page that came out of an old pocket dictionary book. You can use that in your creating. Here on this page, I just have another little embossed scrap here that I made a tuck spot out of. And I just shared a little tag here that I created. Uh, first time I've ever taken the time to make one of these little window pages. <laughs> this is just a dried flower here that I've laminated and created that little window page. I've done a lot of stitching and stamping in this book. I used this vintage fabric to add them into the journal. So I love that. I love the colors. And then here's the other side of that with more stamping. Just a little tuck spot with a doily and I've shared one of my vintage envelopes with this sweet little bird here at the top so you can use that however you want to. And then here I just have a little vintage fabric pocket, made a little cluster, and then just another tag that I made. I love these stamps. These are actually stamps from the Dollar Tree. I think I shared a video where I was making tags and I just love this stamp set from the Dollar Tree and it just went along great <laughs> with this journal. So every little thing will be okay, a little journaling spot. And then of course you can write on the back. Here, just a little bit more stamping, a little piece of vintage trim down here at the bottom on this vintage book page. Edith Holden book page. And then here, this flips out. There's a little pocket, a couple little pockets here on the inside. Just another one of those crackle paste tags that I made. A little double tuck pocket here. And just another little ephemera tag that I stamped and created. And then here's another little pocket, and then I just slip this little tag in there. This was off of a music page with that old pencil handwriting on there. I just, I don't know, I had a lot of fun making little things for these. This one is just some tea stained parchment, vellum paper actually. And I die cut this little tear stamp thing, and then I stamped some little Tim Holtz stamps on there, so. You can add that somewhere. Here, just a little paper clustering. This was off of one of my vintage book pages and I love that trim. I didn't want to waste it, so I thought it made a really pretty washi-like border there. More stamping and then just a little triple pocket here. There's a tuck spot here at the top and then these two pockets here. So this is just a vintage wallpaper tag. And then just another little tag with some stamping on the back. That little vintage bird page, vintage ledger, another uh, Gwen Frostick book page with some of her beautiful poetry on there. Really pretty image here. Here I just added this envelope, had some pretty trims and stamping. A little piece of acetate that I decorated at the top. I made a couple of these little book charms. I resined. I added those little dried flowers, 
some vintage music paper back there and I just resined over the top of them. So I have that clipped there. Then you fold it down and you can tuck some things away. Just put a fun little floral sticker there. So that's that page. Here on this page, this flips out. Uh, stamping on the page, added a little journaling spot there. More stamping on this envelope. And then I just tucked this altered postcard away in here. And then on this page, just more layering and bits. Some ephemera, some die cut pieces. I stitched that envelope over on this page and then added some decoration, just that really pretty lace dyed paper. And then I just tucked away a vintage calendar page here. And then this is an old letter from 1968. I believe it's between a mother and daughter. So I just tucked that in there. You can read that and enjoy that. And then again, from that Dollar Tree stamp set, I just love all these little stamps. They're so fun. So here, just a little double pocket with some tags tucked away here. This one pulls out from the top. So that just tucks away in there. And then another little pocket that I made with some tags tucked away and another, if I can get them out here, little tag tucked in there. And then just some burlap on the top. You could decorate those. I didn't want to add any more bulk. This guy was already pretty bulky. So just a little tuck spot here and I have this vintage photo, old black and white photo of that barn. And then just little paper scraps here that you can do some journaling on. Here on this page, I just created this little holder. <laughs> it has a little belly band here at the top with a little pocket here at the bottom to hold this little scrap pad in. I added some cotton fabric. Another one of those book pages has her poem on the back. And then just a scrap pad for more journaling. Some printed ephemera. And all my favorite little pages and pieces that I like to use. So that just tucks in there and it won't pop out but you can still see that pretty little bird and then just a vintage playing card you can use how you'd like on this page here's an old book page I love the colors added that little piece of trim there that flips out so you can do some journaling there there's more stamping a little pocket and then an, a little vintage wallpaper tag again here on this page, I used a vintage doily piece to create a tuck spot. And then this guy is a hidden paper clip. And I'll show you that in a second. But first, tucked away behind this tuck spot, I have a little pocket, book page pocket and book page tag. And I just added a really pretty, some rub-ons that I have. And then there's some journaling space on the back of there. So it's just a little pocket tag there. Then if we turn the page, I just added a little quote from one of the book pages. And there they are, just empty nests. And yet, what marvels they reveal. So I just added that to that book page. Here's my little hidden paper clip that I made and decorated. So that is clipping this in, which is another music sheet that I made another little scrappy notebook out of. So there's lots of journaling space in here. And again, I just love the nature theme and the colors. So this is holding all of those pieces in place. All right, so then on this page, I just added a little bell with a little tiny paper clip. Another one of those beautiful book page images that I've added some trim here too. Here's a little paper bag pocket. So this poem 
And it says, And so there has ever been beauty in a feather, drifting in the wind, beauty in the lichens growing on a rock, beauty in the stardust shining in the sun, beauty in the grasses blowing in a breeze. So there will ever be wondrous, simple beauty always here on earth. And so I just stamped the little feather there, and there's a little bird, and then just a little tag tucked away there. Some ledger paper, vintage book page. Here I just created this little flip out pocket, book page pocket thing. So it's added in with some eyelets and twine. If you flip it open, here's a tuck spot. And I've just added a little vintage book page and another one of those flower and garden show ribbons. This one is from September 12th and 13th, 1953. And it's an honorable mention prize ribbon. And then it just has that tag from the exhibit that they had. So that's tucked in here. And then this little pocket is just some book pages that I added together. And I added some tags with some fun little floral stickers on there. I used a lot of Jane Austen book pages and music paper here and then here in this pocket just another one of those crackle paste tags that I made here at the top these are fun little pockets and then a vintage playing card tucked in there and another stamped tag I made the best days are ahead and then there's the pocket. Even says honeysuckle vine there on the music. I tried to be very intentional with a lot of the book pages that I used. Then here on this page, I just wrapped that page around, created another little tuck spot there and shared another one of those little vintage bird pages. On this Edith Holden page, I added two little coffee stained bags and I added some of those little nature rub-ons. Just has a couple little tags tucked away in there. If I pop this paper clip off, that flips open. And then just another little scrap pad. I used vintage music title page. And then it's just a place to do a little bit more journaling. And that's just tucked in here. I just had that clipped closed to hold it in place. The back of that Edith Holden book page, but I did add a tiny little tuck spot right there on the edge of the page. So you can see that you can tuck something there if you would like to. This vintage book page, I just added a little pocket. I decorated with some stamping and then just tucked away another little journaling tag. Added some cute little trim there. Here on this page, this envelope is decorated with some trims and ephemera and stamping. This music paper says a nest of robins in her hair. More little stamps from the Dollar Tree. I just love those stamps. This flips open and here's the back of the envelope decorated and stamped. Little tuck spots. So there is more journaling here. You could journal on that little notebook paper. Little tag tucked away in here. And then just another little bag I decorated with more tags tucked away up there. And the next page, I used another one of those vintage book pages that I think has a great space for journaling. Did a little stamping. Here's another one of those dried flower window pages. Here's just another little pocket with a little envelope I decorated. It says trees. Here. Here's some more just ephemera I'm sharing, some old score paper, another old little envelope that you can use, another little tiny scrap pad 
that I made out of a vintage book sheet and some vintage lace. Just more writing space. Then that flower book page. Another one of those postcards I made on my channel here. I do remember <laughs> that I posted that altered postcard video. So here on this page, I just added this book page over the music so it gave a little more journaling space. Little lace tuck spot there. And then here is another one of those little resin charms that I made with the dried flower. A little cluster that I made with a wax seal and just some trims and papers. The other side of that printed music paper. Here on this page I used some of my ledger paper from the 1800s. I love that. And I just shared a couple more little things. Here's a postcard that I made. Just a stamped little postcard I made. And then just a vintage music sheet you can use as you choose. I'm sorry, a little vintage floral book page you can use as you choose in your book. And then here on the back page, just a decorated sheet. Um with a little stamping journaling spot. Here on the back cover, this is one of those embossed papers that I've inked up and then I've just shared a little bit more. Here's a tag, every day is a fresh start. Just a little journaling tag and then a couple pieces of ephemera that you can use. All right, you guys, and that is it. That is the soft cover journal that I finally got done making. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing this journal. I hope that maybe it inspired you and gave you a few ideas to use in your own journaling. I don't usually decorate so heavily, so I had a lot of fun creating this journal. This will be up on my website as this video posts, as well as these five blank journals that match it and that you could purchase if you're interested to create your own journal. So thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch. I hope you're all doing amazing. I have missed you. I've missed being here on YouTube. Hopefully it won't take me so long to get back on here. I do see that we have another storm brewing uh, down in the Caribbean that'll work its way up into the Gulf, but hopefully it won't turn into anything major. Please, Jesus, help that not be the case. Otherwise, we are coming to the end of hurricane season and it just can't come soon enough for me. <laughs> so, and I feel that a lot of you who live in Florida and even Georgia and North Carolina who are affected by these storms feel the same. So, I hope that you all are doing well. Please stay safe. And I will be back in another video to share one more journal with you guys. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.